Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Shocking lawsuit reveals disturbing allegations against Sean Diddy Combs from March 2018. Jake Lloyd resurfaces in Los Angeles looking healthy after a year of treatment for schizophrenia. Sydney Sweeney falls burglary at her LA home while filming in North Carolina. Maria Grazia Churi's Dior Spring Summer 2025 collection redefines fashion by exploring clothing's true purpose and connection to the body. And Beyonce dazzles in a subtle yet sophisticated fashion statement. And on our trending segment, Ashley Parham's lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs details a disturbing encounter that allegedly took place in March 2018. After a FaceTime conversation where Parham expressed her belief that Didi was involved in Tupac Shakur's murder, she was invited to the home of Shane Pierce, a friend of Didi. Upon her arrival, Didi was reportedly waiting for her, threatening her with a knife and making violent threats. Parham claims that Didi's assistant intervened to prevent further violence, suggesting they could exploit her instead. The lawsuit further alleges that Didi assaulted Parham ripping off her clothes and covering her in oil or lubricant before committing a sexual act with a TV remote. These allegations paint a grim picture of the events that unfolded, contributing to the serious nature of the lawsuit filed against Didi. I think this whole Didi case is just every day there's something that they're accusing Didi of every single day and it gets worse every time it comes up because why am I hearing TV remotes in private parts with oil? Like, I don't know, it's just so disgusting seeing the sexual act that this guy is accused of. I don't know if people are actually making this up or this is real because I find it difficult to believe that a human being will be having this kind of sexual allegations leveled against him. And then it seems so real because then when they put out the story, it makes a lot of sense. You know, talking about Tupac, talking about the assistant intervening, trying to save her. I mean, I know this happened way back in 2018 and a lot of people will be like, mm, why are you coming out now to talk about it? This is 2024. But then you cannot tell an abuser when the person can come out to speak. And this is also the reason why a lot of people who are abused don't come out to talk because people always be like, you should have just said it now. Hey, how do we know it's true and all of that? So, but this one, I mean, for every rumor, there's a truth behind it. These allegations cannot just keep coming up and then we keep saying, oh, maybe he's not guilty because it has come up again and again and again. And if we're just talking about, okay, rape or this happened or maybe it was consensual, that's different. But the gravity of these allegations are what I don't understand. And the details, I don't need to be hearing oil. I don't need to be hearing TV remote because, I mean, I've heard of different things. I've heard of vibrators. I've heard of, you know, using the fruit, maybe cucumber. I'm sorry to say that on TV. But TV remote, that is outrageous. That's insane. Didi, I don't know how you're going to come out of this, your predicament. But you really need to prove yourself innocent because these allegations are crazy and disgusting. But... I mean, let's hear from their lawyers and see what happens. <laughs> and in our sports segment, Jake Lloyd was spotted for the first time in over a year, looking well during a recent outing in Los Angeles after seeking treatment for schizophrenia. The former child star, known for his role as Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, kept a low profile while visiting the gym and recycling protein shake boxes. This update comes seven months after his mother confirmed he was completing a mental health stay following a concerning incident last year where he struggled to communicate with police after turning off the car while driving. I mean, I saw pictures of him walking up and down and I, I don't know, will I say he has recovered? Uh, he doesn't really look like he's fully recovered. Maybe he's on a journey to, you know, get in there because anything that has to do with mental issues, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of rehab. It takes a lot of therapy. It takes a lot of you sitting down, you know, telling yourself how you want to be better and actually helping yourself. Maybe going to the gym, eating the right food. But I really do hope that he's working on that because I'm, you know, a big advocate on mental health because telling you guys if your mental health is not okay every other thing in your life is messed up for real but i'm happy that you know he has gone through that journey and he's also getting better and working towards it so we're just going to take a look at his journey and then hope that you know he fully recovers and on to our editorial segment sydney sweeney was able to catch a burglar at a los angeles home while she was filming in north carolina 
The 27-year-old actress received the alert from a security camera around 3.30 a.m., notifying her of an intruder on her property. Although the burglar didn't linger long, they managed to enter a neighbor's home and steal a few items before fleeing the scene. Upon reviewing the footage, Sweeney acted quickly and alerted the authorities in Los Angeles. Her prompt response allowed local law enforcement to arrive swiftly and apprehend the suspect, showcasing the effectiveness of her in-home security technology. I really love it when, you know, people safeguard themselves. I mean, sometimes when you call the police or the FBI to come to your rescue, when you're having like, you know, a burglary happening in your house, they will take hours and hours to come. By the time the police is there, maybe someone would have died or you've lost all your property. So it's always good to have all of this, you know, security technology inbuilt in your home that can at least safeguard you for some time before the police comes and i really like the bravery of sydney sweeney i mean she's a lady and i can only imagine how scared she was when the you know the intruders came in and tried to rob her but i also like the fact that she was able to defend herself because trust me if you're in my house i would have started crying and shouting you know <laughs> the name of the lord 100 times because come on i think i've experienced this whole uh, burglary thing once in my family house and trust me it wasn't funny like this person literally sprayed tear gas in my home and we are coughing and tearing like my eyes were red so trust me burglary is something that nobody wants to experience but i'm happy now that people have you know come up with all these technologies to help protect them at least for a while before you're able to reach out to 911 fbi or the police so i really applaud her bravery and i'm happy that you know she was able to protect herself but then i also feel sorry for the neighbors i mean reporting that okay the neighbors were already robbed and you know some items are stolen Ah, you can never really protect yourself. It's just God that really saves our lives, to be honest. And on our new collection for Dior Spring Summer 2025 collection, Maria Grazia Churi aimed to delve deeper than just the surface appeal of fashion, focusing on the fundamental aspect of clothing, such as its purpose, intention, and how it interacts with the body it dresses. Drawing inspiration from the Asian Greek goddess of the hunt, Artemis, Churi embraced the conception of liberated femininity, highlighting how clothing can express strength and independence. This collection seeks to celebrate the essence of garments, moving beyond a mere aesthetic beauty to explore their deeper significance in the context of women's empowerment and identity. And on Spicy or Not, Beyonce, known for her stunning fashion choices, opted for a more understated yet sophisticated look recently. She wore a long black fitted coat paired with a crisp white shirt and a black tie, striking a confident pose with her arms crossed and gazing directly into the camera. To accentuate her figure, she cinched her waist with a red belt and completed her ensemble with wide legged black tailored trousers and pointed black heels. Her platinum blonde hair was styled in a sleek blow dry, adding to the overall polished appearance. In her social media post, she captioned the image with my W-O-T-Y, which stands for Women of the Year, highlighting her recognition and celebration of women's empowerment and achievements. You know B, like she never goes wrong with any of her looks. And this is one that she killed and killed totally. The whole black and white was looking so glamorous. And then I think she's just in her blonde hair era because lately she has been stepping out blonde, blonde, blonde. And even though some people do not really like her in blonde, I absolutely love it. I love how she styles it. I love how it comes out. And then this black and white look, you know, having a pop of red as a belt cinching her waist, I really love the idea. I don't know who styled her, but this was really, really beautiful. I don't know about the shoes though. I don't really know about the length of, you know, the coat, but I mean, overall, I think I'll give it an eight over 10. She actually absolutely killed it. I mean, knowing also that she was honored for women of the year with this look, I think I'll give it to her eight over 10 for me. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV on Score Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.